Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode of my Bradford City Carry Mode series. Uh, my name is Ralph and uh, if you ask how do you recognize you're on this channel, it's because we change formats here very often. <laughs> so this is uh, third episode and third format. Uh, it's gonna be mostly uh, uncut and uh, at least for the menu part. And I think it's gonna uh, give you uh, some more, hopefully some more, uh, you know, behind information and uh, you will see some of the stuff like uh, transfers right here or calendar and stuff like that that I can't really show you or it's hard to show you in uh, the format that you saw in the second episode, for example. So, but since I'm... Uh, Always sort of ahead, so I've already played the first two games of uh, the season of the league, and you can check them out right now. Welcome to the Valley, of course, the home stadium of uh, Bedford City uh, Valley Parade. Beautiful stadium, of course, we don't have it in the game, but it's the closest uh, that we could do it, I guess. Uh, the first game of the season um, is ahead of us um, against Cambridge United. Um, of course, we are playing uh, our new signing, uh, Tai Chung. So uh, we'll see how he can impact uh, the success of this club. Uh, let's go to the lineup. Uh, of course, our coaches. Uh, fully prepared for this match. Um, so in the goal, O'Donnell uh, in the defense from the right, Riley, uh, Anthony O'Connor, Van Hau and Henley. Uh, in the midfield, Ismail, uh, Mecha, Yates as the more holding midfielder and Jung on the left. And in the attack, Charles Abbey and James Vaughan. This is the lineup of Camp United and uh, we can kick off. Uh, right from the start there, Charles Abbey uh, had a really good try uh, the opposing goal and Felix Mecha tried to uh, uh, try the goalkeeper with his open shot but nothing for us whereas at the other end Cambridge United is deadly from the first shot I think they had uh, one out, losing one out at home is never good uh, there you can see first uh, strike uh, right after the kickoff then uh, Chong tried to find some equalizer but uh, very good save there from the goalkeeper of Cambridge but in our defense there is a gaping hole and uh, it's 2-0 for Cambridge United at this point 22nd minute 2-0 uh, at home in the first league uh, game it's not anything Pleasant there for sure. And right from the kickoff uh, of the second half, Charles Abbey gets fouled in the penalty box, and James Vaughan then uh, successfully scores the penalty. It's 1 2, and we are closing down on Cambridge. Uh, there's, a, there's a chance for sure to get some points in this match. But then in the 70th first mid, uh, Barre from uh, Cambridge there slips through our defense and then again in the 82nd minute and it's two goals for Cambridge at this point we have nothing to no business really uh, getting any points in this game and that's again in the 89th minute very dangerous striker and uh, yeah very big problems in our defense. Uh, and then in pretty much end of the game, uh, Anderson gets one up, so at least it doesn't look that bad. 2-4, uh, but still it's 2-4 at home in our first league game. It's not something to be desired at all. We 
it hundred percent should accuracy actually. And best player of uh, Cambridge there with one assist and one goal. Sadly, in that match, uh, Ryan Yates got injured and broken toe, and is gonna be missing uh, for two months, which is gonna be a big problem for us. Especially with the congestion and the start with all the cups there. We got an offer for uh, Jordan Gibson, but uh, we had to stall because uh, they didn't want to give us more money. There's some of the players that I'm training right now. And uh, we are going to do the second match pretty much with the same lineup, the best that we can uh, use. On the with Pritchett in. Against Grimsby Town that away. Our match today. Welcome to you. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Our competition today is EFL League 2 against Grimsby. Against Bradford City. Uh, right from a kickoff again. Uh, Charles Abbey tries to get forward pretty much in every game. It feels like he always gets one shot really early in the match. But. Uh, can score, but then in the ninth minute, very early goal, very that's that's very good from us to get uh, such early goals. Uh, makes the game much more uh, comfortable for us. Vogan there, why now? Uh, chunk on the left side there, tried to cross to Ismail from the uh, other flank, but uh, he couldn't really produce any better shot than that. Uh, there was all for the first half actually, uh, not very eventful, but we were uh, we were definitely in the driving seat there. Charles Abbey tried to uh, slip through the defense and shoot, but sadly, very very poor shot. Pretty much only shot from BSB there, for whole match they were not uh, very dangerous. There, <laughs> post from Charles Abbey in the 78th minute. Uh, he's fairly unlucky. He has quite a lot of shots every match, but can't score more uh, any goals until this time. The first goal of Charles Abbey in the league. Uh, hopefully, many more to come. But, uh, yeah, he always has enough shots. And they're right uh, at the end of the match. Uh, Header of Donaldso almost, of course, defender cleared for corner, and then another shot from the corner, but uh, that was pretty much the end of the game. There after a foul, uh, pretty comfortable victory there for uh, Bradford City. Um, actually, very interesting how different we performed in this match. Or I should say how different the opposition performed. You can see zero shots on target for Gibbsby, really poor. A man of the match, Charles Abbey. Uh, Abbey. And in the interview there after the match, uh, they ask us if we are going to be missing Gates a lot this season. I think we have some options, but we are definitely going to be missing him. And Larry Longridge is asking for some playtime. We will see how much we can give him. So now you know uh how we ended up uh, let's go to the calendar and check it out so yeah we lost the first uh, game at home for two and then we won against Grimsby so that those were like very really different games uh so I'm not sure like what uh how we are doing it if you need some some uh reinforcements or not uh, but let's go to uh, the third game, which is cup game against uh, Derby County. Um, I'm also playing on. Uh, I can show you. I'm playing on the ultimate. I'm not sure if the ultimate or legendary is uh, harder. I I know like a lot of people are saying that legendary is harder actually this year. I didn't really notice it until I realized that I played the preseason tournament on legendary. So. Uh, I might go back to legendary question mark if ultimate is too easy I'll just, or just like try it out uh, of 
uh, recording or something. Uh, uh, and here's uh, the sliders that I'm using right now. Just so you know, most of these are taken from uh, our sliders. Um, especially these two. Uh, the sprint speed is just my adjustment because I think the game is too uh, too fast, but on slow game speed it's too slow. So uh, this is also my adjustment because the shot speed is just insane. Your civet is uh, similar to what they have, and then I have a uh, first touch control at a little bit higher because it's just uh, what I prefer. CPU sliders are here, it's pretty much the same. This is again OS sliders sort of balance. This is my my <laughs> tiny advantage uh, for the CPU. And wait, okay, this is yeah, okay, okay, okay I'm blind. Right, uh, else it's the same. So let's go to the match. What could I show you? Okay, just a reminder, I guess. Uh, oh, actually, let's let's uh, jump to the transfers first. Uh, so of course we have uh, two injured players. I can show you actually this injury list. Really cool iteration of the mod that I have. Uh, so our left uh, defender and our main uh, center mid are injured right now. So that's also like someone we have to manage to get through without, like through this uh, rest mouth and like not drop out from the cup, which probably is not gonna happen. Honestly, we, I think we are gonna get out. So this match, but eh. uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I wanted to do the transfers, so I hope this episode is not gonna be too long. By the way, I'm gonna try to be super quick because usually I'm I'm uh, very slow through the menus and stuff like that. Take a lot of time, uh, but um, I will try to speed it up for you guys. Um, so this can be actually uncut. Um, I was I stalled out this uh, negotiation before. Because they didn't want to give me more than 160. I want to get this guy out, kind of. But since we don't have enough players, uh, uh, I don't need to really... Actually, let me, let me check this uh, roster first. Uh, let's check the roster together, because you actually probably didn't see this screen yet. So, we currently have... Yeah, it is... Uh, we have only these two left uh, midfielders, and other player that can play on the left is Pritchard, so or Connolly, or uh, Abbey in the worst. So we technically, I mean, yeah, I think we could sell him. This guy can play on the center mid. Okay, I think we could sell him, but. Uh, mm -hmm. If someone gets injured, it's gonna be really tight. But hopefully we can we can just pick up someone from the Leaf Academy, so... Let's go negotiate. Let's try to get at least... Like 180, I think. I'm gonna offer 200. And go super quick through this. Because I'm aiming around uh, like 30 minutes this episode, so... Uh, of course the matches are gonna be... Just like highlights, right? Um, but I can't spend too much time in this uh, this part of the game. And I I do it very often, I promise you. Look, I'm I'm gonna do okay. I'm gonna hand it eighty. Please don't don't walk away. Fuck! They they just don't wanna give me more. Okay, um, if I do hundred seventy, you can't leave right. Oh my god, they actually okay, bye, goodbye, whatever. <laughs> then the, <laughs> the look on uh, our coach's face. Wow. Um, yeah, I don't wanna loan him out actually, because. Project. Don't, don't wanna loan Patrick out because he's not in my plans, but we don't have any. Uh, any players left on the bench. So let's check the counter again. 
we have three days rest here and then two days again so we have to i don't know which of these teams are better so i don't know what to uh what to save for but i guess i'm gonna just use the strongest squad we can right now i don't actually remember who i check this things if everything is fine okay so we don't have to go back here um <clears throat> So, I can't play this guy for sure. I'm, I wanna give chance to Anderson because he's playing pretty good. Um, with this uh, stamina, it's pointless to have him on the bench. I can't play off. I probably can't play neither of the. Uh, with the fullbacks. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be hard. I'm not sure if I'm leaving this in, by the way. Because this might take long, a lot of time <laughs> for me to figure out who, who I wanna play. Yeah, Abby is not playing. So, Patrick here. Chung is playing, and Connell is gonna play. Ismail is gonna be on the bench. Which is everything can play on the left. So I'm gonna probably just do this. Uh, is he left footed? Yes, and he's is he fast. Not really. And uh, he's even slower. Wow. Wow. It's so bad. <laughs> they, he asked me to play, so I think. So I'm gonna play him over here. Problem is that if I use Sergius Everton now, I can't use him from the bench. I can use him for the next match to rotate uh, my current two center backs. So what I might have to do is I might have to play uh, a corner instead of one of these, and then play uh, one how or like the the player that's gonna be on the bench now and. Someone else in the next match. You know, there's, there's three days rest. So I might not need to. But I'm gonna have to if these two both play because they don't have full uh, fitness right now. Uh, slight call. I'm trying to figure out what kind of defender he is. Uh, so I know who I. Yeah, he's definitely not the passing type. Is he strong? Yes. Okay, so maybe... Hmm, this guy can... It's okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm gonna play him instead of... <laughs> I'm gonna play Ocon instead of Ocon. Uh, what is about this guy? Okay. Is gonna play. I think I subbed him off and was playing him to play on these two, too. So, yeah, it's uh, acceptable, really. This guy can play. Yeah, we really. Oh, he can play right back. Oh, okay, go. Go on then. I know what I wanna do then. I'm just gonna play Richards Everton then. He's. he's Better. Actually, let me play just Everton and O'Connor and play one how and other O'Connor. I'm gonna have to learn the first name of these two. So I think this guy is Anthony and this guy is something with B. Betty? I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> um, so we can call them the, the first names. Um. Okay, I think we are set here. I'm thinking about Gibson. Because these two guys are gonna have to go. Ah, uh, I don't think we need him. And uh, what about Rose? Okay, Rose is fine. John can do everything. 
So let's go to the first match against Derby County. What a perfect day for football we've got here. So, Derby County. I hope you can hear me, by the way, over the commentary, but I want to keep it in, so... Huddlestone is definitely the guy that I uh, recognize in Holmes and probably Davies. Um, okay, and our lineup. I, I don't wanna edit it out, so maybe I will uh, next time. <laughs> Oh no, that was very bad pass. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Oh shit! Oh no, he's. Oh my god. Okay, that was great shot. But I didn't expect him. I expected him to sh pass. It's very selfish. Ah, take the. Oh my god, <laughs> the other <laughs> side of the bar. I should say the other corner of, of bar and uh, post. Oh, and under sounder, this. Okay. Never mind. Oh. Was a mispass and a foul. Oh, and someone is injured. Okay, we actually injured someone. <laughs> wow. And under so Oh my God, that was a great shot. Okay, okay, um. Definitely redeeming himself there. Great goal. Wow, I felt he can't uh, shoot from the distance after the first shot. Well, Anderson has like three goals already, I think, this season. Two in the, the league. I should say this month. This is not league. Great. Okay, now actually, I fear this is gonna be too easy. Uh, let's see. Even though we should already probably be still losing after that <laughs> two posts there <laughs> in the first five minutes or so. Khan has been stopped there. Oh no, please don't be injured. Oh my god, and another <laughs> player on the ground. <laughs> After two injuries, I'm already like pretty scared. Okay. And a yellow card for Jimmy Patterson. We should check where is he playing. On the pitch so we can play around him, sort of. And understand again! Oh my god! He's okay. He's amazing. What the hell? What is this finishing? Okay, I have to check on his finishing after this replay. We are winning 2-0 uh, away derby. Oh no, that's a fuck big mistake from the guy who wanted to play so much. Okay, 
I had to put two on there and was pressed. Okay, let's not jinx it anymore, okay? The difficulty. Because <laughs> actually it would be pretty nice to get through. Uh, can you run? There? Okay. Okay. Alright. Oh my god, and is it a red card for Peterson? <laughs> wow. Okay. I didn't see, I didn't even know he was uh, left back. Well, that was pretty dumb way to get sent off. Honestly. Well, it was very eventful uh, first half. Let's grab the keeper this time. Uh, oh, okay. He had it to his shoulder, I think. No, okay. It was just clear miss. Oh, okay. We definitely have to train long pass for Chen. He has to be able to uh, do those uh, long passes. Want him to be our playmaker sort of from the left wing. Good, good, good. Uh, let's okay. Let's get it away. Uh, I'm gonna send Vogan off because he didn't do much and I want him to be fresh for the next game and uh, let's send Pritchard on Ah, uh, actually uh, do I really nah I'm gonna keep Chang on because he's I think he's too tired already to play uh, in the next game, so I'm just gonna do this and send Pritchett on a little bit later. They're playing a really deep block right now. I'm not really happy with that. Let me check. Uh, let's push it up. Let's do long ball. <clears throat> oh, okay, that was a bad pass. Okay, 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 that's... Ah! Please, head it out. Okay. Wow. And that was the, their left back, I think. It was really far up. And the not sun. And... Okay. Oh my god, that was... That was a really bad pass, by the way. From the not sun. I was expecting much better. After his... However many key passes in the preseason tournament and assists, he should have. Those should have been better. Oh, did he? Did he not make him? Or uh, let's already send our Q. I think I'm gonna pitch it and I'm gonna send Reeves on because I don't think we're gonna do much in the rest of the game. So McCarton would just get bad rating at this point. We are really spread out. Fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. It's really good save from Odonal. And can we get it out? Okay, it's gonna be corner. I have to tweak this. So, I'm gonna go back to this depth and up our pressure and. Gonna do position and go closer together. I don't really uh, like to do uh, different strategies, like uh, quick strategies, because it's just different from game to game how I wanna set s stuff up. So, oh, oh my God! Okay, that was really <laughs> that was really hectic sequence there. Uh, Mm, I have to avoid passing the ball to French because he doesn't really good in the distribution. Ah, uh, get it out! Okay, Patrick, run! Run! Prove yourself! 
Oh, okay, that was that was a good shot actually. The, okay, Johnson mustered away from the ball. And they're out of position. Really badly. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> Someone deflected the ball there. I don't know who it was. I think it was Severton. Actually saved us. I was afraid it's gonna screw everything over. And Connolly on the break. And I think it's gonna pass it and miss. Miss. We have to kill the game at this point. <laughs> okay, I didn't, didn't want to do that. Please, no, not French. Uh, run, someone. Please. In the front, great. Good shirt. And across to Patrick. Oh, wow. Okay, that finish, though. That finish. Don't know how realistic it is, but I will take it. Uh, he did like a real pirouette there. <laughs> I mean, uh. He has eyes on his back, apparently. Well, 3-1. I mean, they were playing in... Uh, 10 players, so... I guess, and they, they were actually pretty close to... Uh, evening the game. And leading even. Yeah, in the start, so... Just a couple of questions for you. What are your impressions on the game? Uh, I'm very happy with the boys, actually. The, the boys. The girls to security. Yes, is there like something? Is the best player I have? <laughs> impressive. Yeah, impressive. World class, <laughs> world class, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's what I was going for. And, uh, uh, could have, he could have scored more. Uh, ah, I probably was unfair. Still think <laughs> we were the better team. I mean, very, I don't know. I just scored more goals, I feel like. Uh, okay, so who wants to talk to me, Longridge? God, you managed to win despite my mistake. He actually knows he made a mistake. Whoa, FIFA is realistic. Uh, give me a chance and I'll do better next game. Okay. Uh, this one cut next time. Uh, I'm not gonna be that bad on him because I think it was my fault now, but so don't pressure yourself. I actually wanted to sell him, I'm not gonna lie, so... <laughs> I'm gonna keep him now, I think, because we need some players. Uh... Oh, there is super good news. One. Oh, it's it's, it's upcoming game, okay. Let's check, uh, is there anything interesting here? Not really, okay. Uh, so let's advance. We can't uh, train. We have pretty happy team though. That's nice. Okay, let me save it up. Uh, here. Okay, so our second game now. Uh, probably last one of this episode. It's gonna be, let's check the standings uh, against Oldham, but okay, so Cambridge, we, that we lost to our second Oldham is 4th, we are 11th currently, okay, uh, let's see, I think we didn't get any offers, right, yeah, that's kind of a bummer, I should uh, definitely uh, 
uh, try to make sure I can actually show you all the contracts that we are missing before we go into the game. Uh, here and here, because there is a lot of players with contracts. Of course, there is. Uh, okay, one owned player, which is Connolly. But we have all of these players that do not have contracts right now. Donaldson is, uh, is ending his career after the season, but definitely 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 players we want to uh, extend their contracts. And they will probably all want a race because that's. Uh, Part of this model, but they always want a little bit more. Uh, so, and of course, there's uh, the signing bonus. So that's why I, I want to also like uh, sell Gibson because I don't know how much we are gonna have to pay. But I kind of wanna take care of most of these right now. So we, uh, so we don't have to. Uh, so we see how much money uh, we have available. So maybe we can bring uh, bring in one of the three uh, players from the fan agents. Okay, let's now uh, go check out the next game. We have two days rest after this. So oh, it's hazy. Great. <laughs> Um, Abby's gonna play for sure. He didn't recover yet. Oh, that kind of sucks. This is kind of weird. Mm, I, I guess they were gust a lot. <laughs> uh, I actually did uh, that this part of the mod myself that the players are much slower to recover, but I didn't think that after a week uh, they would already be not recovered yet. Which kind of sucks. But uh, I might actually tweak that. <laughs> but uh, let's just uh, use them right now and see. Okay, I I, I said I'm not gonna play Chung. See, this is the uh, this is what is not really even like. Uh, Abby has 65 stamina and Chung as well. He just played and three days ago. And he's very close to Abby who uh, didn't uh, play it a week ago and has the same stamina and it's not full. So this kind of uh, I still have to take a look at. But uh, let's put Pritchett in. He didn't play uh, that well uh, recently but he played well in the tournament. I'm gonna play O'Connor now. Abby Van Hau. Henley and Riley is gonna play. Okay, an Akpan can play. This is actually probably. I think I'm gonna play Riley because we don't have a choice. Is, is Divine a uh, holding? Ah, uh, yeah, he's he's kind of a holding player. And uh, let me put Gibson here. I think that's all. And I'm gonna. Put uh, Amari Patrick on the bench instead of Johnson. Johnson is not really doing great so far in since the season started. Okay, as for the rules. Yeah, you are not taking the free kicks, by the way, I think. Yeah, Rayal is taking all of them. Like all of them. Good. Okay, let's go to the second match of this episode, or fourth actually, I don't know. Depends how you wanna see it. Uh, against all him athletic. What a lovely day for football. Welcome to you all. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Our action comes from EFL League 2, Bradford City, against Oldham Athletic. And this is today's starting lineup for the home team. Okay, so our lineup uh, we're running into goal uh, from the right Riley, O'Connor, uh, Van Ho and Henley in the midfield, Pritchett, Reeves, Mecca, and Ismail on the right. 
and Vogan and Abby in the front there. Mm. Let's see what we can do with the rotation squad. Because uh, Adam Athletic should be pretty good. Uh, so Adam Athletic has Woods in the goal, Davies, uh, Jakoviti, Vedder, and uh, Smith Brown in the defense. Misso is the holding, the midfield, the Moray, Cook. Eagles and someone on the right, the left, they didn't notice, and I think it was Uko Vera uh, in front. So, 4 5 1. Which would be a pretty good match for us. Ooh, great shot from Abby. I still don't know if I should uh, pronounce it. Abi or Eba A A by, but that that just doesn't sit with me. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do Abi. I think. Like uh, Ismail go in the okay. Ismail he was just standing there and didn't wanna run in in between the defenders there. I that I didn't understand. Mm, good. Oh. I wanted to say good job by Van Hau, but then he loses the ball. And that's the one for Abby. <laughs> I like to do it because I know that's never gonna get punished in FIFA. Oh, good, okay. And this is too open. Uh, oh, okay. I think it was Eagles, okay, Eagles. That could have been a 1 0 for all of them there. Oh, and cross into the box, and can Reeves clear it? Please, nice. Can. <laughs> Morgan missing the goal. It was a good position. Reeves to. Ah, he can go! <laughs> and Abi now can run. Run! Great! Oh! oh. <laughs> wow, okay. No one from the defender was challenging, but. Uh, post and to the goalkeeper. Wow, what, what an end to the first half. Oh, nice lob by Van Hau. And from Elka, that's too short. Oh, great challenge from Mecca there. And we can go forward. And there's no one on the left. What? Who is this? Henley. Cross it somewhere. Oh, damn it. Ooh. What did he say? Nathan Walker? Celebrating his birthday? Uh, is this some of the old players? That's pretty cool. Never noticed that. We're gonna make a change there. Uh, and Mecha is too tired at this point, so... Even though he played really well... I'm gonna send on our... Uh, ace in the sleeve, understand. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna send back Carton for Pritchett because Pritchett didn't do like much, if anything. Yeah, okay. My Carton is really fast, so. Well, there was that attempt, Alan. Let's look back. And also, let's uh, change the tactics there because let's do. Um, well. Okay, Morgan. Pass it. And Anderson. Oh my god. He's a magician. Okay. Wow, okay. Anderson is, <laughs> is actually crazy. He's our best uh, scorer now, I think. 
uh, total in league is David uh, Vogan, but yeah, I was I was on purpose slow with it and just placed it uh, there. I wasn't sure if it's gonna work, but can Andrew's absolutely missing <laughs> the pass there. Uh, oh, great from Perry O'Connor. Oh, uh, the fuck that shit. Someone is on the ground. Oh no, please don't get up. Yeah, okay, he's getting up. I think it's Ismail. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Shooting the ball in his face. Ah, uh, great. Okay, let me. Uh, substitution. Well, I have these two are done now, so for the next match, uh, I think I have one more. Let me. Hmm. I do even want to rest up. I kind of want to rest up a center back, but it's kind of uh, not cool. Maybe I'm gonna rest up Riley. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's rest up Braille. Braille is really good. Ooh. Let's press. Ooh. Ah! Okay. Good, good, good. Let's hold the ball there. We need to win. <laughs> good. Uh, McCartan, can you run? Nice. And... Oh, pff. uh, okay, this is, this is really bad, actually. Oh, great. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> that was, that was some finish to the game. Well, I was really scared. <laughs> okay, so one, one out. Uh, I'm happy with that. I'm happy. Anderson is great. Uh, I'm not gonna do the post match interviews all the time because I don't want my players to be super like buffed up. We've got some questions uh, for you. Without reason. And I also don't wanna abuse the system, so. It's a pretty Ismail picked up an injury today. What? How do you know that? I don't even know that yet. I didn't get the email. What the f Okay. Uh won't be easy. Oh my god. Okay, we definitely need some free uh, free agent players now. <laughs> oh no. I'm starting to think the 75% uh, frequency is not is too much. Uh, he scored a decisive goal. I mean, he, she says it like if I, like the coach scored <laughs> the goal. Uh, but I should have put the game beyond. I have to focus on the next match. I managed to return. Okay, when there wasn't. Uh, mm, yes. Okay, I was in doubts, okay? Let's be honest. No further questions, thank you. You. Okay, so uh, let's take a look there. <laughs> well, we, uh, we already know now. I'm broken though. Oh, sure. Uh, it's the same injury that uh, it has. So it has to be with the injury frequency. Uh, so with the. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem, but uh, let's uh, let's start it out before we end uh, there. Uh, we can uh, train the affinity these players. Uh, 
I'm gonna train Abia until he reaches 66, then I'm gonna do long passes for Chung. Anderson secures the kill, of course he does. Uh, okay, let's put Ismail. Vogan isn't even happy. Wow. Chunk as well. Mm. Okay, so Connolly is our starting now. Uh, Ismail. Thing is, that mm. I'm gonna put Gibson here because uh, Richard didn't really perform it. So. Okay, let's keep it like this for now. And see if we get any offers or anything. Okay, we get interest showing the morals. Well, we don't have enough money for him, so we can take him away. Okay, let's uh, let's check out our uh, table position. We are sixth, and playing. I think it was Stavinich eleventh. Okay, we are climbing up, so it's a positive. Uh, we got a clean sheet, and okay, Anderson is not here actually. Yeah, let's let's check out the transfers. Uh, Baron Rosiva to Real Madrid is very interesting. Mobile to Manchester City. Depay, Milik. Okay, City is talking. <laughs> Strikers. Gundogan. Bernard to Liverpool. I didn't really like this transfer. And uh, I think it's. Uh, I mean, it, it is actually official, right? Already? Is it official or no? In real life? I think it's not official yet. Martinez, Sigurdsson, Anderson to Spurs. Okay, interesting. Ake to Chelsea. That's uh, really good. Really interesting boy. Okay. So, we're gonna check them out at the end of the transfer window uh, so looking at the at the calendar I think we are gonna do we are gonna end the month in the next episode and we have uh, Vigan in the Carabao Cup which is I think also second division or third I'm not sure but uh, since we won over Derby, we have a chance here actually. So, and we have three days of rest, so we should be able to go on there and then Portsmouth and uh, the leasing.com Derby actually. Okay, I, I wanna focus on that sort of because I wanna win that in the two years that we can play it, or hopefully only two years. And then <laughs> back to two back to back courses, three games. I think this month is gonna get. Uh, here she just by the way, because there's far too little matches. Um, okay, so this is gonna be the. It's gonna be all for this episode. I'm gonna uh, try to uh, extend the contracts all that I can and look for some uh, targets from the pre agents if we will have any money left. And actually, I can show you uh, what our scouts came back with at the start of the month because I think I didn't show that. There is uh, we have two players in our uh, academy currently, uh, Neil or Grady, who is uh, someone who I, who I could actually call up now. Yes, 2,000 wage. Wow, I didn't even notice. Um, yeah, it's actually like pretty. Uh, uh, stretching our uh, budget. But we could call him up. Uh, he's already 50, uh, 59 rated, so potential 83 to 94 
with one star scout by the way so there you can see how I fill a out how good players we can get so uh, we could definitely call him up actually actually we can call him up right for the next episode uh, since Ismail is injured he's and he's 19 years old he's he's definitely ready by the way wow he's 19 that's a lot um, yeah, I think I'm gonna call him up actually, he has 62 composure, 61 uh, positioning, that's great, wow, maybe, maybe we don't have to even buy any uh, right wing players if we spare, you know, actually, let me, did I save up, let, let me save up there, uh, let me save up and... Let me... Because uh, I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you the other players that I didn't call up yet. So, there is Toby Murphy, who we are waiting for right now. If he's good enough, he has 76 potential, so we're probably not. But, by the way, I'm calling out usually players that are like around the 76 and up uh, potential at least. But uh, he doesn't look like he's gonna have, and this one is 91, but yeah, he's gonna be around like 50 overall, so he can be, can be not that great. Uh, we are still waiting for goalkeeper, by the way. That's my goal for uh, for this year of scouting, for sure, finding a goalkeeper who can replace O'Donnell. Uh, but yeah, let's... Let's call up uh, Neil O'Grady. <laughs> uh, I hope I don't have to like pay the wages again. Promote. Okay, let's give him. Oh yeah, by the way, Marco Ferrari is Marco Ferrari is. Uh the uh, uh, future star uh, player that our scout uh, brought us uh, that I wanna for sure sell instantly I don't wanna play him not even a single game or maybe like one game just to show like that he can't cut it in our club <laughs> uh, so and I wanna sell him somewhere and just you know spectate whatever he can do uh, so we have a uh, really more interesting save. Uh, he's, he's gonna be great midfielder. <laughs> like I, I would actually like want some player like that, but I'm not using uh, future stress in our save. 84 composure. Wow. From general to the player, that's great. Did they fix that? I don't know. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's slot him in our team there. Grady. Wow, okay. <laughs> this player is insane. <laughs> high, oh my god, high, high work rate. Five star skin was three star weak foot. I actually have to screenshot this. Uh, that's like insane. I, I've That's one of the best players I had because I, I never used the super strong uh, scout. So it's actually one of the best players on paper that I had ever. 62 bodies. Flare but oh my god, okay. <laughs> this this player is gonna be the highlight of our save, possibly. Uh, I think he's is he English or is he Scottish? If he's Scottish, that's even better. Uh, and by the surname I would say he's Scottish. So let's uh, slot him there instead of <laughs> Gibson. Wow. <laughs> Okay, th this is gonna be fun safe actually. I'm excited. I'm super excited. Uh, let's change his uh, number <laughs> before we go. <laughs> uh, he's, uh, he's on sporadic. That's great. Um, change kit number. Actually, 17 would be great for him. Uh, 
Uh, I don't want to give him... Ah, uh, 17. Mm. I will give him like 20. It's a mistake. Uh, 30. 33? I mean, he's gonna play in starting lineup, so he could get the 17. Uh, let's let's keep him on 17 for sure uh, for now. Okay, so he even chose his own colors. Uh, let me just double check if he's actually Scottish. Yeah, Irish. Yes, he's. <laughs> okay, this this is gonna be fun. So, thank you for watching. Uh, <laughs> if you are still watching, uh, uh, my name is Ralph, and. This was the third episode of uh, my Road to Glory series and you should definitely stop by for the next episode because it's gonna be a debut for uh, Neil O'Grady, our superstar, future superstar. So yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, anyway. <laughs> um, Thank you for watching once again. Don't, don't forget to like the video if you liked it, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the next episode. So, and I will see you in the next one.